Brisbane Yamaha knows, boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and today, Polycraft. Original polyethylene boats. Now, they're tough, tougher than anything else there is. They float, they just sit around, massive amounts of room. They ride fantastic because you can make them any shape. But is that why people buy them? Everyone I know that buys them loves them. Loves them more than anything. The only people that don't understand it have never been in one. It's not because they're tough. It's not because they ride great. It's not because they've got more space than most boats. It's because they're soft in the water, quiet. They don't make a lot of noise and people that own them tell me they catch more fish. We get people, we're the biggest dealer in Australia for Polycraft and Polycraft were the original. And in my mind, by far the best. Now this is a 410 Challenger. It's massive. Anchor storage at the front, the inspection hatch we can get in, even tie off to a cleat. Plenty of storage under the front, look at that. Look how thick that is, all poly, strong. A lot of dirt in there, sorry about that. But that's carpeted floor, storage at the back. You know, battery down in here, it's all compact. Now on this, we've put a CV32 stroke. Economical little boat, it's a 410. There's lots of 30s on 410s, 420s. It'll go good, we'll show you on the water. An ideal for someone wanting to take the family out, if you want to catch whiting, if you're going to want to go in the bay, if you want to go in estuaries, if you want to go anywhere there, sneak up a, sneak up a creek, Polycraft's the one. And tough. I can tell you there's a heap of options, and Dan will put up the option page, and Dan will put up the specs on it. You know, options in colours. Never seen so many colours. They look fantastic. They don't fade. You know, I was thinking the other day, I did a Polycraft the other day, and I thought, and I said, you know, we've had a wheelie bin for 30 years and it's still like brand new. I wonder how long these things last for. We don't know, because they're still all going. What we have at Polycraft, we always use the recommended trailer, and they're oceanic. They're built for a Polycraft. They have these centre rails that centre the boat as it's coming up with you. I drive them all up, and they just sit beautifully supported by the keel. Now, this is a 749 trailer. It just comes under. Don't need brakes, very simple. Great little trailer with a strap, jockey wheels, you know, great trailer for this package. Let's go and see what it looks like in the water. 410 Challenger, you know, it's rated up to a 50, and we've got a 30 Yamaha, and look at it go. It gets up better than I thought. You know, it's pushing Dan, it's pushing me. We've got, a, we've got nearly a quarter of a ton of man candy in here, and this thing's riding beautiful. Have a look at it go. And this is with a 30. Huge amount of room in these challenges. I can't get over the polycraft, you know. There's not, so many of our customers just love these things. You know, and I know why. Quiet and soft. And look at it go. You know, this 30's just pushing along. Can you imagine with a 50? I wouldn't put a 50. I reckon a Yamaha 44 stroke would be ideal. And off up on the plane. Now, yeah, with a 30, takes about three seconds to get up on the plane and going. And that's with that extra weight on your own. Now, the other thing I notice as you're bouncing along here, it's very comfortable. The ergonomics on this, even with a little 30, are great. And the ride, it's squirting the water out. No one's got any water on them. That drone's keeping up with us. And if hopefully that drone can show you what this hull's doing. It's spitting it low and it's spitting it out. Now, I'm not saying these are the driest boats in the world, but I am saying they're the toughest boats in the world. And I can tell you now, Polycraft's the oldest, uh, oldest plastic boats, and they're the best. I can have any boat I like, and I have Poly. And we're the biggest Polycraft. It just, it just works. I tell you, and you can probably make any shape you like. And the area, have a look at the size of the front. And I'll turn into these waves. It's nothing, no water, nothing comes up over, and it's soft. It's soft because of the shape of the polycraft. And you know, I think I told you, if you get a hole, if something happened to you, in a corner, if I smashed into a rock, out it comes, seconds later it's welded up and it's solid. You know, I use one of these polycrafts up in the Gulf, and they are solid. They, they, one of them got away, it floated around for three months, it come back, scarred, it was still full of air, and, and they just cleaned it off and it come back beautiful, brand new. These things, I can tell you, I like them. I'm thinking about having one as my crabbing boat. Get up there in the creeks, up in the, the little channels. Don't be worried about sticks hitting it. Don't be worried about hitting rocks. Not with the Yamaha though. I won't even sell you a Yamaha if you're gonna hit it. You know, my wife likes likes Polycraft too. She sits up the front there, drinks a Chardonnay, has a look out there. 
you know, and she's not scared that I'm going to hit. She doesn't care about the boat getting damaged and dirty. Now, that's not the reason why you buy Polycraft. We've spoken about it. It's because they're soft. And when they sit at the rest, they are the quietest and you catch more fish. And if you want to get into a Polycraft, I suggest you call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. Come on a water test. Have a look at this beautiful waterway we've got. And you too could put yourself in the picture. Polycraft, Yamaha, Brisbane Yamaha. There's nothing better.